Gareth, what sort of week has it been for you this week? Paul, we've had a really busy week this week with lots of good leads and, yeah, really enjoyed the show. All right, let's have a look at what people have been interested in. Let's start here on your stands. Gareth, I'll come this side. Tell us, tell us what, um, what you're actually showing here. OK, we've got the uh, four jaw Inoflex chucks. We have shown them before. Uh, we have a few developments this, this time around. But essentially, we take a rectangular piece of material, we drop it in the chuck, clamp it, and it self-centres it to 20 microns or better. You've got much clamping force on that? Same as a standard chuck. It's, uh, no, it does everything your three jaw does. And So oh, why would you have four jaws instead of three? Crazy question, but... Uh, it, the four jaws self-centred, it gives you loads and loads of benefits. One of them is uh, less ovality on thin parts. Obviously, you can clamp rectangular, irregular shaped parts. So there's loads and loads of benefits and you don't lose anything that you may have with your three-jaw chuck at them. OK, all right, and then to the left of me here, this is your standard range of, of jaws? This is our core product line. This is what we make in our factory in Long Crendon. It's kept us going for 60 years. And, uh, and, and th this was what you used to be known for, but obviously there's much more to the portfolio now, isn't there, as we see. Let's, let's, walk, um, let's then walk around here. Again, we've got more of your uh, jaws this side. Is there anything, anything new here that you've been showing? Uh, there's nothing new now. Our range doesn't change very much. Uh, powerful bar puller, something that may not be known for. Yeah. And on the end, we have our uh, quick, quick change jaws. OK, and, and, and just, just demonstrate to us how quick these are to... Formula One style. You've done that before, haven't you? Once or twice this week, yes. OK, over this way. Right, now we're, now we're on to... Um, you've got your three jaws here. Tell us about this range. Uh, okay. Sam Chilli, yeah? This is... This is the same chili range, yeah, a range of st standard chucks uh, available from stock or from uh, European stock. Sell really, really well. There's a lot of these in the market though, Gareth. Why do people choose Sam Chili? The Sam Chili now, are now coming in on uh, several of the machine tools uh, that are imported here, so there's, there's, there's a growing replacement market. Uh, the Sam Chili's reputation for quality. Uh, and they, they've been going a long, long time now. I suppose if they're bought in on many machine tools, that shows people wouldn't do that unless they were confident in the product, wouldn't they? Uh, this, this is this is something close to all our hearts. We all know Lang. I mean, how well have you done with this product range? Uh, the Lang range has been a real boon for our company. The uh, we have over 450 UK users of the product now, and obviously worldwide, there's many, many hundreds more. But why do you think it's gone so well? I mean, it's an incredibly versatile range of of work holding and you can hold on very minimal material quick to set what, what, what are some of these reasons Gareth it's done so well I think it's the simplicity of the idea it's very very simple but very very clever and the patent on the stamping technology has really given us a, a benefit and something different to show to the customer and we know we know it works we can guarantee that once the parts been stamped locked in the vice it's not going anywhere Let's then move on from this to a bit of automation, in fact, where we'll, we'll close this off, Gareth. What, what are we actually showing here in conjunction with, or the, is this a Lang product? Uh, yeah, this is a, a, a Lang product. It's a standard product. Obviously, you see a Fanuc robot in there, uh, but Lang have bought the process together. So rather than loading materials, we're now looking at loading vices. Again, very, very simple. The robot picks the vice up from the same position, and it takes it round and... It's clamped in the same position. Can, can you, you pull these out, load your vices and push them back in so you can kind of build this system up to be a, a, as many of these a, as you want? Uh, it's, it's not really a, a modular system. You, you decide how many you, that you want, but you can have up to four trolleys uh, all loaded with parts, which can give you up to 168 vices. Are you seeing out your trolleys? That was a word that I was looking for then. I was struggling with that one. Are you seeing this This is uh, the future then? Is this, is this where things are going for, for Tame Gareth? We, we think so, yeah. The automations are a growing part of our business now, and this offers our customers a, a, a different option. And uh, yeah, we've had a lot of interest in this uh, over the week. Uh, Summarise the show in three words. It's been really good. Thanks, Gareth. Thank you, Paul. Cheers.